here I have a 2007 Cadillac Escalade that currently will not start. Uh, all the lights come on, uh, the remote works. Everything seems to be fine, but when you try to turn it over, you get nothing. Everything comes on. You hear the radio, uh, security system, everything works, but when you go and try to turn it over, flat line, nothing. Try to turn it over, nothing. I removed the alternator prior to this video and had it tested at a local car store. The alternator tested good, so that's not my issue. Also, I had the battery tested, and the battery is reading north of 12 volts. Um, no dead cells, so the battery is not my issue either. So that leads me on to believe that there may be something wrong with the starter. So I'm underneath the passenger side of the vehicle. As you can see, just below the, uh, well, from down here, it's above the Cadillac converter. On the passenger side, there's a starter. It's got two mounting bolts right down here at the bottom. Uh, 13 millimeter. I'm gonna drop the starter first and then try to get those bolts out second because they're kind of tucked under the exhaust. Okay guys, I found that it was kind of hard to get the starter off from the bottom because of the, the transmission cooler lines and how they run and the uh, exhaust and just the frame of the, the vehicle. I couldn't drop the starter and therefore I couldn't put the new one back in that way. So I found that it was easier just to push it from the bottom till it gets up in this area right underneath the exhaust manifold and then just drop it out this way and that's also how I disconnected the electrical connectors which end up being a um, 13 millimeter and a right here at the bottom where my thumb is a 8 millimeter I just have to hold the phone and record what I can and then try to bring you guys up to speed when I can but I'm also gonna put the new starter back in this way I'm gonna push it in and drop it back then connect uh, the ground and the battery terminal cable I think for the positive battery terminal I'm gonna connect those and then I'm gonna go back underneath the bottom of the vehicle and bolt it back up so aside from removing the wheel, the passenger side, front wheel, I want to go ahead and remove this inner fender guard. Okay, now we have the guy out the way. Pretty much got a uh, opening where the starter is going to mount to. You see the flywheel, you see the opening right over there. 
removing the passenger side wheel and that inner guard makes it very easy to access your spark plugs. Push the new washer and bolt on, and then we'll be ready to go underneath the car. Okay, the washer is on. Now the bolt. Yeah, I'm dropping it, losing my touch. This location made it much easier even to access those guys to, to pull out the starter to put in the starter to uh, disconnect the starter everything was easier just from this location from pulling off the tire and taking off the the inner fender guard and boom there it is Okay, there you have it people, how to replace the starter on a 2007 Cadillac Escalade and some of the symptoms of a bad starter. Hope this video helps you guys, feel free to comment down below. I work on a lot of other vehicles as well. Again, thank you guys for watching.